Welcome back to the Independent Investor Channel. We've had the uh, honor of covering Stallion Discoveries, bringing awareness to the company and what they're doing here in 2023. And they are off to a wonderful start. They've just uh, completed uh, a couple of huge acquisitions, one in Canada uh, going after the uranium market, um, as well as solidifying their acquisitions here in the domestic market. They've got properties in both Idaho and Nevada. Uh, please understand that this video is provided for promotional uh, content. Those disclaimers uh, regarding my compensation are provided in the description of this video. So to be upfront and understand that we are looking to profile the company and introduce you to Stallion Discoveries. If you've never heard of the company, stick around. We're going to jump into the investor presentation, and we're going to talk about the latest acquisitions and the exciting plans for 2023. We do have plans to have Drew Zimmerman, the CEO, on the channel this week, so we're going to get a little bit better of a deep dive, but this will serve as an introduction to Stallion Discoveries. With that, guys, let's kick into the investor presentation and get started. And we'll make the formal introduction here to Stallion Discoveries, formerly Stallion Gold. Fantastic uh, little company here that uh, was brought across to my desk uh, to cover for you guys, making some big, big moves in 2023 with some of their newest uh, land package acquisitions, uh, both in Canada and here in the U.S. and the established jurisdictions uh, that have been previously identified as some of the best uh, producing for both uranium and gold and silver assets. Uh, Stallion Discoveries is a company looking to acquire large land packages, undeveloped land packages, and, and really look to deploy the modern technologies to uh, extract the value out of these proven jurisdictions. We're going to have the luxury of actually speaking to the CEO, Mr. Drew Zimmerman, this week to find out more on those acquisitions and find out a lot more on the exciting developments that have transpired just here in 2023 uh, with Stallion Discoveries. And a quick review here of the disclaimer, we uh, will be reviewing some forward-looking statements that are being made uh, in this presentation. We want to introduce the company and what they're doing right now. Uh, but I uh, want to encourage each and every uh, viewer of this content to make sure and do your own research, do your own due diligence. I will be providing all of the information that's being used in the creation of this video. Most of it can be found on the website, and I would encourage you to visit the website to get the latest updates on the exciting discoveries that are being made by Stallion Discoveries in 2023. So Stallion Gold does boast the potential and is bred for massive discoveries here with a four-tier uh, four structure here, first of which the jurisdictions that they're looking to uh, place their stakes in, the uh, jurisdictions of Canada and the U.S. Jurisdictions are important, my friends. You cannot just start a gold mine anywhere. A lot of acknowledgments with regard to uh, infrastructure that is or is not made available. Um, the people there that uh, actually uh, call these areas home to make sure that they are friendly, uh, as well as the uh, native uh, acknowledgments to uh, the, the areas that have been traditionally mined um, and have actually been successful in doing so. Uh, number two is the properties here. Um, I think the, the cool takeaway here for Stallion Discoveries is their ability to acquire properties in jurisdictions where um, they've got uh, favorable neighboring and existing um, mineral uh, operations. And so there's been some historical precedents put around some of these large land packages that they've been able to acquire. And, and the real common uh, methodology that Stallion Discoveries uh, deploys here is their ability to acquire these properties uh, in proven areas with uh, neighboring uh, companies that have actually found some massive success historically in the same areas where they've acquired properties. Um, the people, uh, we'll talk a little bit about the actual team uh, that makes up Stallion Discoveries. They've got some incredible experience, over 60 years of experience on the team. 
Um, and I have no doubt when we talk to Drew, he'll highlight um, what his team brings to the table from a unique perspective. And then finally, the structure. Um, the share structure is tightly held uh, by management here, looking to drive long-term value by the acquisition of these large land packages. And so to introduce these massive land packages to the viewing audience here, we need to understand how 2023 is shaping up to unfold for these projects and the uh, geophysics uh, as well as the schedule drill and, and permitting programs are going to unfold over the summer. We expect to get more insights from the CEO uh, during our interview this week. So stand by for that. It's going to be fantastic to hear it from the boss himself as he uh, as he identifies what they uh, have identified in the value proposition of each of these projects. What you see here, the Nevada and the Idaho projects, the Horse Heaven Project and the Richmond Mountain, both established jurisdictions as we've previously disclosed. So very exciting as we'll look to uh, get some uh, more data on each of those uh, properties. And then uh, the Athabasca Basin, which has been a, a massive, massive uh, acquisition uh, by Stallion Discoveries here to pursue what has been a red-hot uranium market with the development of, of nuclear power and the acknowledgement and the shift away from fossil fuels and the introduction of um, needing to find other sources of energy. Certainly nuclear has been right there at the top and driving that has been the demand over the uranium market. So for the stallion discoveries to embolden their portfolio and, and enter into just shy of 80,000 hectares of, of a land size, that of which we'll cover a little bit more detail in this from an introductory perspective, but we also expect more to hear from the CEO uh, as Drew uh, has um, a much more insight and can add uh, a lot more about how they see these projects unfolding going into 2023 and beyond. And why uranium? Well, this is why. Uh, this oversight here really separates the Athabasca Basin uh, from the rest of the world. 13.2 uh, of the world's uranium comes from this region. You can see the chart there to the bottom left, how Canada just stands apart out of some of the major uh, producers in the world uh, and producing 10 to 20 times uh, the average grade of uranium. It just speaks to how prolific the Athabasca Basin is. We'll talk about some of the who's who that's actually in that area, the expertise that exists with over 60 plus years of uranium mining in the area. It just speaks to how dominant this region is and speaks to how important it is that Stallion Discoveries has been able to take a big, big stake in this area uh, going forward. And this is just a general overview of both the east and west of the entire Athabasca Basin projects and the who's who. If you look down in the lower left, you can see that the region is um, absolutely uh, incredible. It's got a lot of the who's who, Cameco, Rio Tinto in the area, and many of the others here in the region. And you can see there where the stallion discoveries really is intermingled be between these uh, established jurisdiction of producers. So fantastic early uh, land acquisitions in these discoveries. And, you know, the idea of acquiring these in these established jurisdictions is to um, really look to take modern technology, look to um, uh, do the research on these properties and look to see where the strategic start targets might be. But if you look at this overlay, you can obviously see that um, the, the, the production has come for many, many years out of this base. And so uh, it, it, it begs the opportunity that Stallion Discoveries may potentially have uh, in each of these new land acquisition packages that they've just recently acquired here in 2023. And here's just a snapshot of the western side of the total basin in the Athabasca, and you can see the Stallion Discoveries properties there butted up against some of the who's who uh, in the industry. Um, I've had a chance to speak with Drew on this. You guys are going to have to just stay tuned to hear um, his insights when we get that interview this week and, and hear uh, from his perspective how exciting 
uh, of a land package this is and how we're going to go about um, really bringing out and exploiting that value uh, into the summer and the rest of 2023 and beyond on this uh, newly acquired uh, land package in the Athabasca. And here in the eastern Athabasca is just a, an overlay of the newly acquired Stallion Discoveries properties uh, in proximity to the Coos Hoo in the area of uh, some of the, the largest producing and past producing mines in the area. So very, very exciting here. Uh, Stallion Discoveries, newly acquired properties here in the Athabasca region, and it'll be great to track their progress in 2023 as they look to uh, further uh, identify strategic locations uh, for further uh, exploration and, and the potential for uh, future discovery on each of these respective locations. And since the land package is so enormous, um, the geophysics survey that is expected to uh, carry out in the first half of 2023 is going to be a massive undertaking. Uh, it's going to help to map out and it's going to help identify those target zones within their newly acquired property here. Um, so it'll be something as we track the Stallion Discoveries project going forward uh, to see what kind of progress is being made on this. And we'll expect to hear more color uh, surrounding the uh, plans for the overflights of the property here by Mr. Drew Zimmerman uh, when he comes on to the channel for his interview. And just to give you an idea of the locations of the gold projects here in the states in both Idaho and Nevada, uh, bo both established and premier jurisdictions uh, for the Horse Heaven Project and the Richmond Mountain Project, respectfully, just to give you an overlay uh, on the strategic locations of where these properties are located. And uh, really exciting to see how those drill projects, uh, as well as the further exploration of those projects, will unfold here in 2023. And this is cool. The uh, Horse Heaven project couldn't have picked a better neighbor. Uh, I want to highlight the uh, Stibnite Gold project here, which is uh, redeveloping what will be one of the largest high-grade and low-cost independent gold mines in the United States. Its, its historical production is approaching a million ounces of gold. And its entire uh, boundary on the eastern side of... Uh, the Stallion Discoveries project actually borders the Stibnite Gold project. So when you talk about having a who's who for a neighbor, uh, it's interesting here to see that the um, the Yemeni research report would suggest that six million ounces of gold uh, could be a potential on the property. So very very exciting here to see in this early stage of this discovery company how they've strategically placed themselves against the who's who here uh, in a very established gold mining jurisdiction. So it'll be interesting to see as they further the uh, discovery on the project uh, and see if they can't identify on the project where those strategic locations uh, might be uh, worth focusing on going forward here in 2023 and beyond. And multiple targets here for exploration, covering 699 claims, uh, 5,800 uh, hectares. So, and there's also some uh, some signs of some antimony and tungsten. So, very exciting here with the multiple targets uh, in this large land package at Horse Heaven uh, to see actually how uh, Stallion Discoveries goes about uh, exploiting the value. Uh, and identifying uh, based on what they think is there uh, on how to go about uh, continuing the drill projects and, and getting all of that um, uh, unfolded here in 2023. And here's just a quick summary of some of the historical work that's happened at the Horse Heaven uh, claim block at the Golden Gate Fault Zone, as well as the 2021 geochemical uh, program. Uh, that mapped out uh, some of those um, some of those uh, areas along the fault zone uh, worth continuing on, and uh, this just highlights uh, that those areas of focus um, where Stallion Discoveries will continue their good work on to try to understand um, where the potential target zones might be uh, in this uh, in this claim. And this is just an overlay of the location currently of the Richmond Mountain Project. 
which borders the I-80 Gold Corporation's project and has been um, historically uh, very, very well produced here with 1.5 million ounces of gold from the Arkady's pit. Now, the Richmond Mountain property sits just adjacent to that. Um, so very, very exciting how the adjacent property that has been acquired by Stallion Discoveries um, has this type of activity right next to it with um, some historical production of well over a million ounces of gold. And then the Ruby Hill property has over 7.6 million uh, ounces of gold that's uh, measured and inferred in the ground. So, so very exciting. Um, the adjacent property here, large land package, uh, right next to some very intriguing historical production results. You can see here how the Richmond Mountain property kind of sits adjacent to these other properties here, covering 117 claims on the Bureau of Land Management ground, covering over 950 hectares. So a large property here and the adjacent properties there uh, for your uh, viewing, uh, and you can kind of see how it's associated here with the other properties in the region. Just a quick overview on the geology of the area of the Richmond Mountain. Kind of interesting. You can see the question marks there denoted and the property, uh, Stallion's Discoveries property outlined in blue and how that overlays. Uh, you can see there the Archimedes pit uh, just to the left of the screen there. Um, and then you just go to adjacent, put some right almost smack into the middle of that uh, property from Stallion Discoveries. So it'll be interesting to see what they're able to to zone in uh, based on what they know of the geology on how they further develop um, and, and look to uh, make discovery on this particular property. Uh, so in summary, really, as we look at these two projects, how they're going to continue to explore each respective property, um, we will hear more from Drew when he's uh, on the channel and we have uh, the ability to hear it from him from his perspective. But the two projects, how they expect to unfold is to continue or complete the drill permitting along the Golden Gate Vault. We talked about that. Finalizing the modeling, um, as well as pursuing uh, some of the pending assays that they had on the antimony. We talked about that a little bit. And then on the Richmond Mountain projects, um, the geophysics program uh, to outline and define the intrusion and mineralization structure and then model the new data for targeted discovery drill program. So busy setup here for 2023. And each of these have uh, the opportunity to drive value in stallion discoveries doing exactly uh, what they set out to do here in uh, establishing and exploiting value is on these large established jurisdictions, um, these land packages. Uh, and it'll be fun to, to kind of monitor their progress here as they look to uh, bring this exploration to the forefront on each of these respective uh, projects. Here's a quick snapshot of the upper management. I'm not going to go into each and every one of these names. Uh, I would invite you to read up on um, the who's who of, of who they've got here on their team. It's impressive. Uh, but just to highlight um, uh, the CEO, Mr. Drew Zimmerman, um, we will be uh, having him as a guest on the channel uh, to hear it firsthand on some of these projects that we've been able to uh, identify with and introduce through this investor slide deck. And it's going to be great to hear it firsthand from Drew on uh, the coming developments on how they're looking to, to really get into these large uh, new acquisitions that they've just brought under uh, the Stallion Discoveries portfolio of properties. It's a quick look at the share structure here, uh, just over 60 million outstanding. Uh, with about 26 million owned by uh, management directors and insiders of the company. So pretty impressive, pretty close to 40% anyway, insider ownership. Uh, you can see the share structure makeup here, fairly tight float, uh, as I can see. Uh, and then as well as the uh, ticker symbols there to the left, very cool stuff. And just a note here that Stallion uh, Discoveries do does own 100% of the Athabasa Basin projects that we've uh, discussed in the uh, making of this video. So important note there to be had on the share structure. And the real key takeaways here in closing out our coverage of Stallion Discoveries is really just to identify that each of the projects have world-class neighbors uh, in each of their projects. Uh, it's a tightly held share structure. Uh, we just talked about that uh, fairly light float, most of it owned by insiders, if not close to 40%. Um, they're large properties that are relatively undiscovered 
with uh, very robust production in each of the respective areas. And then finally, the team that we've uh, discussed a little bit in this presentation. We'll understand more about the upper management, uh, the board, when we hear uh, from Drew and what his team brings to the table. But a well-rounded uh, microcap here in the junior mining space here on the discovery side of the house. It's been a pleasure here uh, to roll out Stallion Discoveries for you guys uh, as we uh, track this story into 2023 and beyond uh, to see how they go about extracting this value out of each of these uh, newly acquired properties that they've just brought under the portfolio in early 2023. And on behalf of the Independent Investor Channel, we would like to thank Stallion Discoveries for allowing us this opportunity uh, to introduce to our audience the many, many discoveries and new land acquisition packages that's been brought on by uh, Stallion Discoveries in a relatively short amount of time. If you want to understand more about the company, I found the due diligence on this company to be fascinating. You can find all the information that I used in the creation of this video at stalliongold.com. And if you want to find out more information from the company, you can always reach out to them at info at stalliongold.com. Again, I want to thank Stallion Discoveries on behalf of the channel. And uh, we will kick you back and we will conclude the review of Stallion Discoveries. All right, guys. So we've come out of the profiling of Stallion Discoveries. What a cool company. Uh, a company that uh, has probably flown under the radar, but uh, is neighboring to the who's who uh, in the junior mining space, both in the uranium uh, Athabasca Basin, uh, as well as here domestically, both in Idaho and Nevada in some of the most prolific uh, gold jurisdictions that we have here. So very exciting times. It'll be great to chronicle the journey for Stallion Discoveries in 2023 and track their progress on their newly acquired properties. Uh, I'm really excited for them and, and what the prospects for the future hold. And we look to uh, pay that forward for you guys through discovery and through an introduction for Stallion Discoveries. Guys, if you appreciate the content, I would ask you to leave your comments at the bottom, subscribe to the channel, and share the message with anybody out there that's interested in the junior mining space. Stallion Discoveries is a fascinating company, and I would invite you to the information that's pro provided in the description below, the company's website, as well as the ticker symbols, as well as all full disclaimers on the profiling of this company. Guys, thank you so much for tuning into the video and good luck in your investment future.